Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in X3 Terran Conflict. I'm trying to use my uh, X Reverse setup, and it's not working. Oops. Um, my bad. Let's try that again. Good thing I'm not doing a dead is dead playthrough. That would suck. Anyways, um, where, what I was tr trying to say before I blew us up was that I it's I spent a few hours off camera trying to make some money doing a bit of exploring. I I'll show you where I went. I got my I ended up giving the saddle the hermit the my our solar power plant to commercial agents, and they're off maintaining that station, making me some money with it, but. Gate. Omicron Lyrie. It's not enough because we only have one day, 17 hours left. So we've wasted f um, seven hours. Autopilot activated. So we're going to can that plan. And we're actually going to go through to do the Terran Conflict plot. The reason for this is we get a very powerful ship. And I'll be able to do fight missions with it. And that will quickly start making me a lot of money. And I, yeah, I did go to... Um, I ended up making a run through and seen on Sector 347, all the way around to Legend's home to buy to buy jump drives and then f jumping them back. And so now both my um, what I was looking at, yeah, both my uh, commercial agents have uh, jump drives, or they should jump drive and jump drive. There we go. And as you can see, I have a second. Oh no, those are just my two commercial agents. And they're off flying around making me money. So we're going to do the Terran Conflict plot. We're going to uh, head into Terran space to do some missions. And once we're through that gate, we should have the um, trigger. Should be in the keyword here. And come on. There we Entering go. Entering system. Omicron la autopilot. Pilot, we have some Terran diplomats in need of escorting back to the sector Heretic's End. We'd like to show them how we handle things around here. This will look good on your record. I'm loading the briefing into your mission menu now. If you are interested, follow the instructions. You are talking to the auto. How can I be of assistance? I'd like to take part. Glad to hear it. I've added you to the flight group and updated your mission briefing. Have a safe journey, pilot. Argon. Eclipse. Autopilot. And basically now what we do is we follow them. Oh, as you can see here, I did take some damage. Uh, one of the uh, enemies I was fighting had uh, mass drivers or something. Something that I just tore right through my shields. Alright, boy. Don't be slack. We've got to be at our best. That goes for everyone. The Terran diplomats' transport will be here in a few minutes. Xenon activity has been on the increase, especially near the Terran border. The mission should be uneventful unless the Xenon decide to crash the party. Check your systems and form up. And yeah, we're going to see our first Terran freighter. Autopilot active. So that's what the Terran ships look like. I do like uh, that's a personal personal transport. I do really like the look of the Terran ships in this game. And the katana in X Rebirth, because that's the only one that stayed consistent. There we go. And now we just wait. And watch for Xenon, apparently. How much am I getting paid for this mission? 5,000 credits. Really? I make more that I make more than that in one run with the uh, solar power plant. Speaking of which, how are they doing for money? So yeah, I'm now at two, two and a half million credits, and we need to raise seventy-five more. 
No, we need to ra um, raise 22.5 more. Gate, circle of labor. And more jump screens and more loading screens. I don't like how the loading screens are just solid black in this game. You should at least admit the game's loading. At least I'm getting 82 frames Entry per second system, in the loading screen. Circle of labor. Autopilot off. Terran. Scabbard. Autopilot Just activated. for a quick use, I'm using the mouse flight controls Latest in there. reports indicate there are no xenon on our flight path. No AGI detected in the vicinity. We'll let you know if we see any. With respect, ma'am, your scanners have a slightly larger range while ours offer clearer information. If the xenon jump in, you won't be able to tell if it's a ship or a rock any faster than we can. Really? Stop your grinning and drop your linen! We got incoming fighters! Sending calls to engage the enemy. Autopilot off. Pirates. Parent that they want the juicy Terran tech. Target is now in firing range. No, oh, I should probably turn on my weapons. Whoa, slow down, slow down. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. There we go. Or mine. A Terran. Autopilot activated. One more sector for this one, and we're almost uh, a, three quarter, a quarter of the way across it. That's a parented fighter triggering the uh, thing. They are not at a rep where they attack us on site, at least. Well, if we go into their systems, they'll attack. Their security forces will attack us. Halfway across Circle of Labor, Heretic's End is the next system over. I wonder if they fixed that bug with that station spawn. It's, sometimes it's been known to spawn in really up, odd places. Knows that it was when I was last playing it. And we're three quarters of the way across. You can tell when it's a when it's a mission spawn for uh, ships because you get these generic names compared to like bio transport or civilian ship. You get really generic names for the uh, uh, mission spawn ships. Autopilot off. Let's head through the jump gate just in case there's anything waiting for us. Also, by going through the jump gate first, we actually let we actually. Uh, Turn off since we turn off collision, the other ships will come through the gate quicker. Tick tock. There we go. Oh, no. Heretics end. There is the Terran station. Orbital defense station. And as you can see, it is quite large compared to that little uh, trading station down there. And needless to say, in this game, since the station is so massive, it has a huge collision box. Check your scanners. We have incoming fighters. Four of them this time. Oh, Xenon fighters. Confirmed. It looks like a small attack group. They're heading this way. She sounds almost bored. Xenon M. Almost within range. Yeah, I sold the ammo-based weapons because I just don't like using Target them. Target is now in firing range. But I did use that most. Whoa, he's shooting me. Oh crap, they're all shooting me. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Whoa. What happened there is I... Oh, the Terran's... I think that's Terran rep I just got up. 
Xenon M. You have gained recognition. Regional representative. You are being promoted. Rhymes fact. L. Alpha. That's the last of them. Damn AGI. They always send a shiver down my spine. Resetting course for Heretic's End. And Terran regional representative. Yep. Awesome. I like having Terran rep. Yeah. It's nice to be back. Seeing proper, massive, beautiful Terran installations. Any second now we should be reaching the uh, docking area. Well, the docking lane and the ship should fix its course. Actually, we probably can watch it from here. Alright, these are, it's like way over here or something. That's actually the way to do it. Orbital Defense Station. I think we're going to be under one of these two. And there we go. I was right, it's one of these. It was this one. I don't know, I was wrong. I was saying it was these one of these two. It's this little guy here. As you can see here, this is when we're, the collision box is going to cause us problems. Never use autopilot Auto around Terran installations. Off. And there we go. We should have access to Terran space after this. Thank you for the escort. You guys were not that bad. Come to think of it, we could use some of you. AGI, that's Xena to you, I guess, have been attacking the sector for the last month. The USC and ATF are holding out fine. One second. But anyone with experience fighting the Xenon would be of some use to us. Lieutenant Gellert, do you have anyone in mind? All of these pilots have had experience fighting the Xenon. I can't imagine any of them wanting the job, though. No offense, but side switching is not part of Argon character. I think we're done here. Good day, Mom. Good work today, pilots. Dismissed. Side switching. I'm all for that. Too bad. You are talking to the automated inter. What's biting you? I am very interested in working for Terrence. Well, now what? Activate the SATA. Well, in that case, let's just head to. Oh, there we go. Lieutenant Plinza, USC. You drew a patrol at the Simon today. Come join us when you're ready. Off to Uranus. Gate. Asteroid belt. Oh, Auto once again, don't off. use autopilot in Terran stations. Off we go. Now, in X3 Reunion, as you saw, we appeared in Earth orbit. Needless to say, that wasn't a very safe place to have a jump gate. So, as you'll see in a minute, Terran the Terrans have moved it. Uh, loading screens. And there we go. System. Asteroid belt. Yep, we are now at the asteroid belt, and there's a big freaking station in the way. Another orbital defense platform? Orbital defense station. Yep. And over here in the distance, you'll see some. Oh, that's the. Here, hold. Mining outpost M Gamma. Transorbital Accelerator, Mars. Yeah, so Terrans, the, uh, the ter Transorbital Accelerators are the precursors to the uh, 
highways from X to Rebirth. They're pretty much just giant slingshots. Mining outpost M Delta. Yeah, I think mining outposts are just ore. Well, info. Yep, just ore. Mining outpost there, and I think this is a uh, food. One of those, uh, like a the equivalent of a trading station, or well, the orbital defense stations, an equipment dock kind of setup. I think. Yeah, orbital defense stations more of an equipment dock where you can buy weapons, equip, and just equipment. And these guys. Orbital patrol base. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a, another uh, equipment dock thingy. Transorbital accelerator, Jupiter. Oh yeah, this is asteroid belt. And off we go to. Uh, and of course, asteroid belt is its own sector. Of course, if they build ec the solar system using the. Uh, X rebirth setup. It's gonna have so many uh, different zones. Like, well, let's see. No, zones are the first level. It's gonna have so many different sectors. It's gonna be ridiculous. One system, multiple sec, with and it'll have more sectors than any other system so far. That'll be interesting. Kind of look. Kind of want to see that now. That'd be kind of that'd be cool looking. Of course, that would also mean that Terran still has, would still have the biggest fleet of all the uh, races. Well, in this game, the fleets are kind of same numbers. It's just Terrans are more well equipped. In X Rebirth, out of the Heart of Albion and Argon government factions, they definitely have the Entrance biggest. System, Jupiter. And over here we see some food production matter, complexes. Matter, antimatter, oh. warhead production fab, M Th Alpha. There you go. Autopilot off. USC Orbital Support Station. Hull Plating Production Facility M Alpha. Poltergeist Missile Fabrication Facility Alpha. Um, this transorbital accelerator over here on the right that leads to Jupiter 2, the second Jupiter system, and it just gives us a different view of Jupiter. I should probably go full speed. And that's the Terran Solar Power Plant on the right. Th well, A, one of them. Starburst Shockwave Cannon Forge. Alpha. Orbital Patrol Base. Come on. Show up on sensors, I just want to move, pick you up and then go. Solar power plant. X. T Transorbital accelerator. And where Saturn. are we going? Oh yeah, we're going all the way to Uranus. So we still got a few sectors to go. Which is okay. <laughs> Guys, it's able Oh yeah, I never finished up the Goner Temple. And, uh, that's, that's not going to be as profitable as the uh, getting the uh, Terran plotline completed. We get a lot more free stuff through the Terrans. And we really need to do that because we're, we're down to 16 hours one day. So oh, actually, a bunch of those stations back there were uh, weapon production. Entering I don't think we've seen a food production Saturn. one. Autopilot off. Orbital defense station. Transorbital accelerator. Saturn 2. USC orbital support station. Shipyard. Saturn research transorbital accelerator. Uranus. Uh, what can we, I think? No, we can't get, but this is their, uh, this station will come in handy later on. And on the other side of the shipyard, there's another transorbital accelerator leading to Titan. Which I think that's Titan? No, yeah, that's Titan there. So we're in Saturn, yeah. Okay, we're only one gateway, okay. Beautiful. 
and then we'll get the little mission briefly that I'll call it an episode. And yeah, I'll just fly there straight manually. Oh. It might be a good way to get killed, but oh well. Because capital ships sometimes will come through, especially right there. That see that M7? If we actually the M7 going through now means it's safe to go through. Presumably. And it's through, and we're through. As you can see, oh, I, yeah, I didn't point that out earlier, but yeah, no jump gate animation because, well, it's just a giant slingshot. Accelerating us extremely fast and then decelerating us really fast as we get caught. Entering system, Uranus. Oh, and of course, no mission briefing. Water so, purification plant. M Alpha. There we go. The blue planet. And I'm going to call this an episode. I will see you guys in the next one where we will start the... Well, we'll actually start the Terran stuff. Bye.